Well, today we're back in the arcade doing our regular weekly maintenance, and we found out that one of our dead heats has a stirring pot problem. So, what we're going to have to do is take this panel off here so we can get access to the pedal, and uh, it should have a, uh, a rheostat or pot in the end, and hopefully I have what I need to fix it. I'm hoping that it's going to be the same thing the stirring takes, which are these plug-in pots. But if it happens to be one of the solder-on kind, I happen to have one of those too. So um, we'll uh, go ahead and pull that pedal out and find out what we're going to have to change. Okay, should be pretty straightforward. We'll, we'll start with removing these security screws here. Uh, it's got four of them in here holding the panel on. So we'll go ahead and we'll take these four out and then we'll see what it looks like. Okay, well I've taken it out and turned the pedal around and upside down so I can get to where the pot is. And as you can see, it's got a whole lot of dust and all kinds of dirt in there. And the pot is a, a solder on type pot and it looks different than what I got. So. I may not have the correct pot for it. I'm going to have to take the pot out and see if it has any markings on it and see if it's the same uh, rating as the one I have and maybe it'll work and maybe it won't. We won't know till we get this one out. Okay, well, we've checked it out and the pot is definitely bad. The pot right here for the, uh, the gas pedal. And we got bad news because we don't have one to replace it. Uh, this is a 1K pot, and uh, all I have are 5K pots because the stirring mechanism uh, for both this game and, and the dirty driving, which is only two pots that I have in stock, are both 5K pots. And uh, the shaft. Uh, input shaft on, on the pot is a little bit too big to go into the uh, the gear mechanism there anyway so nothing I can do until I uh, get the parts uh, ordered and and get a new pot here so I just have to put it back together for the time being okay well today we're working on a dead heat and the uh, the pot in the gas pedal has gone bad so we've taken the, the pedal unit out from the game and uh, we've loosened up the set screw that holds the, the pot shaft onto the mechanism. So now with the, the set screw loose, we can just slide this right out and it fits right in that little tab right there. So now we can go ahead and take this pot loose and put the new one on and then solder the, the wires onto the new pot. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clip this tie strap loose here to give me a little more play with the wires that's hooked up to the, to the pot. That way I'll be able to set it up here and use my little uh, helping hands. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and put it on here and I'm going to cut the uh, heat shrink insulation back on the wires so I can unsolder the wires. Alright, well we've got the old pot out and as you can see it's it, it's not the same pot. So I'm hoping that it'll work. It is a 1K pot, but this one here has stops. This one here turns around in circles. So um, I'm not 100% positive it's going to work, but the only way to know is to put it in and try it. So first I'm going to go ahead and mount it back into the bracket, then pre-tin the, uh, the lugs on the pot, and then I'll go ahead and solder the wires on and put it back in. Okay, got the wires soldered back on and heat shrunk. So now all we got to do is take and, and put it back in and put that tie strap back and we'll be ready to install the pedal assembly. Okay, well we've got it all installed. We got a tie strap back on to hold the wiring harness. So we should be ready to go. One other note, the, uh, the brake pedal has an opto here 
and has a, a lever hooked onto the pedal with a piece of a metal that when you depress the pedal, it closes off the, uh, the opto uh, from the transmitter to the receiver uh, to let, let you know that you've applied the brake. So they're using the opto instead of a, a regular micro switch. Uh, this opto is kind of similar to uh, what you'd find on a pinball machine for the, uh, the flippers on the Williams Fliptronics boards. A little bit different, but works on the same basic principle. Okay, so let's go ahead and install it in the game and find out if we have our problem fixed. All right, once we got back down here where the assembly goes, we had to install our ground cables back. We just had a, uh, a nut on the back side with a Phillips screw. And then we had to plug our harness in here. So now all we gotta do is shove it back up in the hole and put our four security screws back in and should be ready to test. Okay, we've done a recalibration and uh, as you can see here, this is the gas pedal. The gas pedal is on zero with it, without it depressed. And if you press it, it goes all the way up to 1000, which is okay, that's what it's supposed to do. So the gas pedal is now working. And of course the, the steering wheel That's working like it should. So everything is working like it should now. So we can go ahead and take it out of test and fire the game up and and give it a try. Okay, well here we go. We'll go ahead and we'll put two tokens in. Have you registered a PS? And since I have a pen number, I'll put that in. It's loading my profile. And of course, this part of the game wasn't working when the gas pedal was bad because you need the gas pedal to select everything. Alright. Yeah, let's take a picture.
not bad for a one hand and filming at the same time. All right, game's fixed, so that's just another arcade fix. Have you had your arcade fixed today? <laughs>